Just days before Christmas, President Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine addressed U.S. Congress and thanked them for their assistance in the war against Russia. He also pleaded for more assistance because of the great battle that lies ahead. He did something interesting in that he wore his battle fatigues, his dress, military gear, and stood behind the podium that day, despite the fact that everyone else was in suits and dress clothes. He did that to remind them that they were still at war, despite the fact he was staying in a state hotel and eating state dinners with celebrities and politicians. At the same time, his brothers and sisters were at home fighting a war for their lives, many of them without electricity, without proper food, medical attention, water, all the basics, and every day dealing with the threat of the enemy. As we begin 2023, I want to remind you, despite the blessings and the favor and the hope that we experience and we enjoy, many are still POW, many are still MIA, KIA, and we are going to go into all the world. We do that by going to war on the floor. So I'm inviting you to be a part of what we're doing, going back into the enemy's camp and taking back what has been stolen from the kingdom of God. We're going to a prayer revival for the next month, and I'm asking you to join us seven o'clock on Wednesday nights. We will begin with an inspirational message. We'll go to praise and worship. We're gonna work from a book called Radically Apostolic, and we will have a word of inspiration, but the focus is by every night around eight o'clock, we will go to prayer. So if you can't make it in time for seven, at least make it for eight o'clock we will be in prayer. We'll be going to war on the floor. But we battle not against principalities and powers, but the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. Do you have a family member? Do you have uh, a person that you know of that is still out there fighting the battle by themselves and they need the comfort of God's family? They need the comfort of comrades in arms in the spirit. We're going to intercede for them. Bible says he couldn't find an intercessor. That's not the case in abundant life. We're going to war for those that are not able to war for themselves. Join us this Wednesday at 7 p.m. We look forward to seeing what God has for us in 2023. Love, grow, serve, go, and let's win one this year.